What's going on guys, it's your average consumer, and today we're checking out this guy, the Nintendo Switch. And, boom, two of them, you know I don't need one, so we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with that second one in a bit. But, let's open this guy up. I am super excited because it's a portable system, baby. I'm all about that life. So what we're gonna do here is pop this sucker open. I don't even need an unboxing knife. It's a killjoy. But let's just see here. So we're gonna pop this tab, right? You ready for this? All right. Am I ready for it? Okay, so we're gonna pop the tab. Boom. Oh, oh, this is small. What? Oh, this thing is tiny. This really is like a phone. Where's my phone? All right, so I got my iPhone 7 Plus. The switch, let's take it out the plastic. And, and this is only a bit bigger. That's crazy. But let's check out what else we got. We have the Joy-Con controllers. This, I was very curious about. They're tiny. I don't care anybody says, these are tiny controllers. Let me pop them out. Okay, I can see it though. I could work with this. Now inside the box, you also get this little strap. So you can throw this onto the Joy-Con controllers. And this does a couple of things. It gives you the strap so that you don't fling your Joy-Con controller out the window or something. But you also get these extenders for the L and R buttons. So at the very top, this makes it a bit easier to press those buttons. And of course you get two of them for each Joy-Con controller. Now you also get this Joy-Con grip so that you can get a more traditional feel with the Joy-Con controllers. So if you want something that's a bit more standard, you can throw them onto here and play like normal. And this right here is the infamous dock that you throw your Switch into whenever you wanna play on the big screen. Uh, it actually does a couple of cool things. It ups the clock speed of the Switch and also brings it to a 1080p display. Uh, what the Switch is working with right now is a 6.2 inch display running 720p, which is not a big deal. 720p sounds terrible, but coming from a very long time portable gamer, I know that this is gonna be an okay screen because I play on the Vita, uh, the 3DS XL, which have much lower resolutions, but this one's gonna look even better than those, so I'm stoked. But like I said, once you put this into the dock, on the big screen, it's gonna go to 1080p, so no worries there. And you can actually open this thing up, and you've got the typical connectors. You've got your AC adapter, USB port, as well as an HDMI out, so you can get this plugged up and connected to your TV. Now, something interesting is that this uses USB Type-C. A lot of new phones are using it, and this is what the Switch uses on the handheld portion as well. And this is pretty cool because let's say you have one of those new phones, that means you're not carrying around multiple chargers. You can just bring around one USB Type-C cable, plug it up, and you're good to go. And it works even with portable chargers, so that's gonna be awesome since this could have some shaky battery life depending on the game you're playing. I also kinda like the fact that it has some cable management stuff going on so that you can hide the cables when you're hooking it up to your TV. Good thinking, Nintendo. And you get books. And lastly, inside the box, you get those cables, HDMI, uh, USB Type-C uh, AC adapter. And uh, I'm ready to hook this thing up. Now, I am going to do the test. I am going to see what it's like to actually throw this sucker on. And let's see how simple it is. Oh, that's cake. Oh, that's nice. So this is actually not bad. Now, like I said, I play a lot of portable games, so the Vita, I'm pretty used to having a wide system in hand. This is quite a bit wider, but this is not so bad. I can get used to this, especially with a screen this big. This is much better than the Wii U remote. Uh, this is very nice and light. Now what we haven't looked at here is a game. So right here, I've got Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, and let's take a look at what the cartridge actually looks like. Oh, this thing really is small. Wow. This is a tiny, tiny cartridge. It's actually smaller than the Nintendo 3DS cartridge. Uh, that's actually very surprising. So up top here, there's a little slot for it. Pop this open, you throw this in. And this is actually very reminiscent of the PlayStation Vita. It looks a lot like the slot where you throw into the games into that. Now I've got my Switch together, popped in my game, 
Now it's time to test it out and see all the different Joy-Con options and let you guys know if this thing is dope or no. But before we get into that, let's talk about that second switch. So this guy right here obviously isn't for me. It's for one of you. So one of you guys is going to have the chance to win a brand new Nintendo Switch. And you've got some simple rules as always. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and leave a comment down below. So good luck to you guys, but let's go try out the Switch and see if it's worth your time. So guys, check this out. Right now I've got the Switch inside of its dock. So it's hooked up to the TV and everything. Uh, and what I like right now is that this thing seamlessly fits in with my entertainment system. So it's not a giant sore thumb. The thing fits in very nicely. So kudos to Nintendo for making that look so good. But this is it. Now I've got the Joy-Con controllers in hand and I can just play like this. So this is crazy. I'm walking around, hands moving all over the place, playing Zelda. This is nuts. So a great thing about the Switch is that if someone comes in, they wanna use the TV for whatever reason, all you do is take your Joy-Con controllers, slide them into the Switch, pick it up, and boom, instantly goes over to a handheld system. So if I have to give up the TV for whatever reason, I got a little spot over here for portable gaming anyway, and the Switch fits right in. So I can actually just sit back, have the speakers blasting on it, and enjoy. Now, I did mention that there are multiple ways to use the Switch with the Joy-Con controllers. Obviously, this is the main way, playing it like a regular portable system. But if you want, there's also a kickstand, which by the way, has a micro SD card slot right under here in case you wanna up your storage, which is probably a good idea since you don't get much on board. But when you're playing, you can pop out that kickstand and also play like this. So this is another way. You've got a controller in each hand, so you're playing like this. Or if you want, you can use the included Joy-Con grip, and then you just slide each of these on, and boom, you've got a whole new way to play as well. But if you're playing with someone else, you take your Joy-Cons, you pass one along, and then you're playing like this. Now this is gonna be a very interesting way to play. Uh, the controllers are pretty small when in this form. So it's gonna be interesting, but I definitely think you can get the job done. I'm sure the two player games on this system won't be too complicated where you're gonna need a more robust controller than this, but it'll do the trick. But since this is a portable system, it only makes sense to go out and test it in the real world. So let's see what it's like to actually play this outside. All right, so the Switch is all about portability. So of course, I had to see if it'll fit in my gadget backpack. Now, it is a little on the wide side, which is a bit of a problem when trying to pack it away. But what's cool is that the Joy-Con controllers can be broken down, thus making it a lot easier to pack away. So all I gotta do is grab it, grab my controllers, and I'm pretty much good to go. Now, something to keep in mind is that this is a larger system. While it is portable, it is bigger than something like the Vita or the 3DS XL. So if you're used to using those systems, you're gonna have to do some adjusting because this is quite a bit larger. Hey guys, this is dope. I'm in McDonald's playing Zelda Breath of Wild. If, I, if this were another console, this wouldn't be able to happen. And what's even cooler about the Switch is that if I had a friend coming over to meet with me, I could just pass him one of these Joy-Cons and we'd be playing a two-player game while at McDonald's. It's nuts. Something to note is that when I was on my way here, playing it was no problem in the sunlight. Uh, I had my screen brightness at max, but I was able to see everything I needed to with no problem. So the real question here is, is the Nintendo Switch dope or nope? Well, I think that this is absolutely dope. Uh, the Nintendo always comes out with some really interesting concepts. I think they took the concept for the Wii U and took it to the next level here. I, this is a perfect system for someone who wants a pretty decent console, but doesn't maybe doesn't have time to play it at their TV all the time. You can take your system and take your games on the go. So if you happen to have long commutes, you can play your system. I, I think that's awesome. Now for $300 right now, you're not getting a huge library of games, but you're getting some awesome potential. Uh, this is probably the most, well, this is the most powerful handheld system that has ever come out. So I'm sure Nintendo's gonna make some good things happen with this. I'm pretty stoked, I'm excited. Uh, I'm all about 
gaming on the go since I don't usually have a lot of time to sit in front of the TV. So I'm interested in seeing how they do things here, but I'm just glad that I have the option to play this however I want. And I think a lot of people will enjoy that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up and make sure you enter that giveaway. It's free. Till next time guys, peace.